increases. But once this weak front gets here, barely brings any rain and then just comfortable conditions behind it. Now that's pretty typical for November that these cold fronts don't bring a lot of rain, but this November has been very different. It certainly has. Those fronts and the hurricane yeah. have really increased our rainfall totals, which is kind of interesting because November is typically our driest month of the entire year. Look at this monthly averages across the entire year here. Obviously summer being the rainy season, we see a lot of rainfall then, but November is typically our driest month with just less than a, about an inch and a half of rain on average that we see so far this year we've seen over five inches of rain that's about three and a half times more than what we would typically see with a surplus of 3.8 inches for the entire year we're about a foot above average that's not a bad thing heading into dry season here it's always good to have our ground a little bit wetter but for this November of 2022 we're on track to be the sixth wettest November since 1939 so pretty wet one there but not the wettest but when we look back over the past couple of years, we've actually had a pretty uh, couple of wet Novembers as well. 2021, we had about three and a half inches of rain. 2020 had even more rain than we've seen this November, but the four previous years were very dry. Now the wettest November of all time, over six inches of rain, that was back in 1963 and just a trace back in 1960. But one thing that is contributing to our excessive rainfall totals this year, Lee, was a uh, hurricane back a little, just, uh, just a few weeks ago here was Hurricane Nicole. Yeah, so Hurricane Nicole came over from the East Coast, brought us a lot of rain back in 2020. We had Ada that right. came in off the Gulf of Mexico. So when every time you get a, a tropical system in November, it's going to kind of blow those averages out. But we like going into dry season with a very wet uh, surplus.